So you might as well give a forum for someone to share if they've got off the court thinking and they've got these excuses and they're blaming someone or something for why they can't get their job done. Wouldn't it be wonderful to help break them free of that way of thinking? So, so what's the lesson them, though on that? So you break them free in that way of thinking by really focusing on the fact that there is a line here in the middle, right? Where is that line? There it is. Right there. So there's a line in the middle there between on the court, off the court, and it is a very specific line. And it basically is a line of choice. You have to make a choice whether to stay off the court or whether to get on the court and take personal responsibility. So wait a minute, so wait a minute. So you're telling me that I have a choice? It just doesn't, it just doesn't happen habitually and automatically? It probably does happen habitually because you're not making the choice. So let me be very clear about this. We don't go into a place of negativity because we want to be there. I mean, you may think you do, but you don't. Who wants to be in a place of negative, negativity? That does not feel good. What happens though is we get pulled off the court during any given circumstance where we're encountering something negative. That's what human nature does for us. It doesn't take any effort, it doesn't take any thought to go negative in light of a negative circumstance. That's natural, that's normal, that's what happens if you're not otherwise consciously choosing. So what happens is when you get stuck in a negative space mm -hmm. is because you've fallen off the court because your environment has taken you there in some way, shape or form. But be very clear, you let your environment take you there. You have every opportunity to choose to get back on the court and take personal responsibility in light of the circumstances. And so now that I've learned this, I now have a choice mm -hmm. whether or not to stay in that negative place mm -hmm. or choose to take personal responsibility for it. That's correct. And it doesn't mean that you're always going to make the right choice, but now that you have an awareness and you have a model and you can look at two different places to be, one of the indicators, you see the thing is, we stay off the court, we go off the court automatically because of circumstances. Sure. We stay off the court because we fail to recognize that we have a choice in the matter. We fail to recognize that we can choose at any moment in time to get back into the place of personal responsibility. So think about it this way. Um, there's only one thing, if one thing only, that we have full control over, and that's the way we respond to any given situation. Most people don't respond, they react, meaning they just go with wherever the situation takes them. But you have the opportunity to respond, which takes reflection, which takes personal choice, but okay, so how do I want to respond to the situation? Mm -hmm. That I always have control over. So it's about taking and making that, uh, making that choice. Now, as I said, people go off the court because of their environment, because of their circumstances. They stay off the court because of a lack of awareness that they're there and they have a choice in the matter. So how do you become aware? This is one of the key points if you're going to coach somebody on this. You become aware based on your emotions. So when I'm complaining and I'm upset, I don't necessarily feel really good. It may feel good for me, but I know deep down that that's not the way I should be feeling. Right. But when I take personal responsibility, there's empowerment there. There's a feeling, a sense of having, being in control. Yes. And so that's the difference, right? Yeah. If you're feeling disempowered, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling jealous, if you're feeling any of those negative emotions, that is your indicator that you're off the court in some aspect of your life. So if you feel that way, you just have to ask yourself the question, what would I need to do to take personal responsibility in this moment? So bring